Yo, Vaisantier. So this video, we're going to talk about customizing your chat and slash chat box. So let's first off start off by looking at this here. There's tabs on top here. You can actually drag them out and move them around um, and you can lock them and then you can't move them anymore. <laughs> so and you can unlock it, drag them back in, combining them into back into one. Okay. And if you want to move the whole thing around, just grab the top left tab here and then you can just drag it around and you can lock it back in place. Okay. You can also add new tabs. You can name it whatever you want, specify what you want to do here. Um, you can also go to insisting tab, right click it, and then chat that settings. Let's say you don't want to hear any area people talking. Right click apply, it's gone. Add it back in, they come back. Uh, by default, they have the notifications on, right? That will actually do like the flicker thing if someone says anything. Okay, so I usually have it off by default. And by default, they have all the languages here. Since I don't speak French, Spanish, or German, I have it all. Down here, you can specify where you want to say things into, right? Uh, you can also have hotkeys like stash guild, and then instantly get you into the guild. All right. So next, we'll go into the chat settings. So the chat settings, you can actually go from here into the chat settings, or you can press escape, go to settings, it'll bring up this window. So here, you can actually specify what kind of opacity, which is how transparent the chat will be, right? Darker or lighter. I have it like 75. Font size, you can make it bigger, smaller, up to you. There we go. <laughs> um, you can actually change the colors of what you want the area or normal or whatever you want it to be. And you can also display, take off the time or have the time on. Here on the bottom here is just text to speech settings. I usually don't have them there, so I don't know much about it. But it's there if you want to play around with it. Next, we have the micro, the macro text, not the micro, macro te text here. Here is for when you actually, so if you're in battle, you hit like control on, on stuff and you ping things like to move here or whatever. It actually, you can make it say specific text and in whatever mode you want to do, normal, area, guild, party, whatever you want to do, assembly, danger, assist, so those kind of things that you kind of see people pinging, uh, you can actually make it also spit out in text form. In the macro text down here, um, especially when you have uh, slight focus or sight focus, um, where you have to do exclamation mark, it makes it easier here where you can like type it in here. You get to do text one, two, and three, and four. And in order to actually activate it, you have to go to hotkeys or the macro text button here. You can change these if you want to. I have them Alt one, right? So if I just go around typing Alt one, oops, that's control one, Alt one. Yo, slight focus, baby. <laughs> So that's, that's an option here. So it makes it a lot easier. You can also make it do other things like if you need to give commands to people like, yo, follow me or whatever. I don't know, whatever you want to do, right? Here we have notification requests. These are stuff that pops up like when your friend's online and stuff like that, right? You can also do that automatically. Same thing with the uh, decline requests. So yeah, hopefully this is a slight tutorial to help you um, with your chatting needs. And I do stream on Twitch, a lot of Lost Ark. So feel free to follow me there and let me know if you have any questions. And if this is helpful, yeah? Like, comment, subscribe, all that shit's nice. Later days.